Hello and welcome. If it is your first time here, hello again. If you are returning, welcome back. I'm here for more Clone Wars. Last episode was fantastic, amazing action, just a great episode all around. I'm excited and I hope this is another great one. Anakin Skywalker has been seriously injured. The Jedi receive medical aid from the peaceful Lerman colonists. But even on this tiny planet, the war threatens to follow the Jedi. Hey, it's our boy. <laughs> I love him. He's my fave. I will always say that. General, we've got a Separatist ship incoming. This is neutral space. It won't be neutral for long. This is why old dude didn't want y'all here, which is understandable. Their home is about to be destroyed. You must leave before your enemies find you. But you'll need our help. You can't fight them alone. We will not fight them at all. You're going to surrender? If the Lerman want to remain neutral, we won't force them into war. You are now under the protection of the Separatist Alliance. I didn't ask for your protection. We were okay. I would like to inspect my new colony. Can they just take over a neutral space like that? Are there no like rules in this war? Bylaws? In the future, we may conduct more periodic searches in order to maintain security. We will offer no resistance. Your species is smarter than you appear. I don't like him. I hope you die by the end of this dickwad. At least the Jedi escaped. But they nearly brought harm to our entire village. Thanks to you, we're safe to grovel before every petty tyrant who enters our system. I have just ensured we will have peace. And at what price? I get both, but sooner or later you're gonna be dragged in anyways. If you don't defend yourself, people will take advantage of you. you know, I can't figure those villagers not wanting to fight. I call it no courage. It takes courage to stick to one's beliefs. She's also right. And what's up with Ahsoka? She's being kind of a dick to the villagers, especially the old man. We need to find a ship, and I think the only one around here belongs to the Separatists. We know oh they have no. a landing ship. You have been found. You need to destroy that thing right now. Jamming signal! Are there more of them around? <laughs> She's my favorite so far of the Jedi's that we have met. Are they setting up but a station? I'm... Okay, I am all about pacifism, but they're gonna kill all of you or turn you into slaves or whatever. Apparently the Separatists have a new toy. Today is a grand day for the Separatist cause. We test a new weapon. A weapon which will destroy organic matter. Can you do that on a planet full of living things? I have located a world in which we can test my, our new weapon. You may proceed. Oh no. God dang it. Why do we always have to lose a clone? Why? how effective this weapon will be against living creatures. That is terrible. That is a weapon of mass destruction. What is wrong with you people? The colonists will make excellent test subjects. I eagerly await the results. This is crazy. I will have never thought that Dooku will sanction something like this. First, we'll take out the droid's communication station. Then after we get a shuttle, we'll go back and help the Lerman. It's cool to see the Jedi's use their powers in little ways. The Separatists are on the mark. They did not attack us before. There's no reason to think they will this time. We've done nothing to provoke them, and we will not. Just because you're peaceful and you didn't do anything to provoke people doesn't mean that people won't take advantage of you and try to kill you. You need to listen to your child. Even if we don't fight the Separatists, we must defend ourselves. 
mounting a defense is still engaging in battle and we will not change our morals now or ever you don't have to kill them just subdue them take the weapons away the separatists will be here in moments we need to get you to safety before they arrive we will not abandon our home leaving is the best option since you don't want to stay and fight and you can keep your beliefs they've got a new weapon it'll burn this place to a crisp if it is our destiny to be destroyed in your war so be it that's actually dumb you can keep your pacifism and also live you just have to go somewhere else unfortunately when god do you sees how successful my weapon is i will no doubt be promoted to a more substantial position this is genocide that is about to happen and you're worried about your position this is crazy but i guess it's realistic Fire! <laughs> Those shields can withstand this. Quad one, prepare to charge. This is freaking genocide. I expect it better from you, Dooku. That's it. We have to retreat. These droids suck, but <laughs> their overwhelming power is what gives them an advantage. There's way too many of them. God. What are you doing? We're going to help. I forbid this. Your people are being murdered. You should have left when you had the chance to. I know it's his belief, but the dad is being kind of ridiculous to me. There goes my promotion. I hate this man. I sometimes wish the Jedi's could just kill people. Not everyone, obviously, but just these types of people. He's a terrible person. <laughs> Nice job, Wack 2. You technically did not kill anyone, and you were still able to help save your village. Thank you, Wag 2. Thank you. Perhaps we do owe you thanks, but I still wonder at what cost. This was an interesting episode. It posed a lot of important and intriguing questions. I get the old man's position and him wanting to continue their tradition but i feel like his position was a little too obvious to oppose you know that's his belief but in the back of your mind you're like you're being ridiculous leaving was the best choice that he had and he was like no we're not leaving but we're also not fighting that's ridiculous also is it wrong if other people defend you <laughs> Would it be wrong or would it be them condoning the war if the Jedi's fought on their behalf? Even if it's the Jedi's fault that the Separatists are here in the first place. I wish they could have tried to leave, but couldn't. And I think that would have put us more on the old man's side because then they would have to defend themselves. And defending themselves would mean they will actually have to fight and kill the droids and that would go against their beliefs i just didn't feel that conflicted because the entire time i was just thinking you're about to be murdered <laughs> and your actions are kind of irrational you don't want them to set up a defense force you don't want them to do anything you just want to sit there and die and that's weird and i don't think that's what pacifism is about I had said that I needed to take Dooku more seriously and this episode solidified that for me. I still can't believe that Dooku will not only support this but he helped build the weapon that would literally just kill everything in sight and not care at all that he was about to murder all of those people just because. Like in his mind, does he think that the lives that will be saved after the war is worth the people that will die? Or is he just evil now? Because I always think 
that Dooku is doing the wrong things for the right reason. I know he's a Sith, blah, 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 blah. But I have always thought that Dooku still has some good in him, that he just got turned around. But I guess not. This episode was, was crazy. I don't know if this is just me, but I thought that Ahsoka was being a little dismissive of the old man. And I wonder if um, the war is getting to her too, like um, Kid Fisto's uh, student. Anyways, this was a good episode. It has some interesting questions to ponder on. Um, I continue to love General Sakura. I wish she could stay with us. She is fantastic. <laughs> I do hope that we see them again. And I wonder how their culture will change after this um thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts in the comments i hope you have a good one and you'll see me later bye